Let's start our day with a powerful reminder from the book of Matthew, chapter 17, verse 20, where Jesus says, Truly I tell you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. Isn't that incredible? Our faith, even as tiny as a mustard seed, can move mountains. So, as we gather here today, let's take a moment to reflect on the incredible power of faith. Faith is not just a belief in something unseen. It's a firm trust in the promises of God. It's knowing that no matter what challenges we face, God is with us every step of the way, guiding us, strengthening us, and empowering us to overcome. And I am going to release a very powerful prayer for you in the matchless name of Jesus Christ. Kindly watch till the end. Believe and open your heart to receive the blessings that comes with this prayer. Please like, comment, share this video with others. Leave your prayer requests and we will pray with you. Reflect on the parable of the mustard seed, Matthew 13 verses 31 to 32, where Jesus likened the kingdom of heaven to a mustard seed, which though small, grows into a mighty tree, providing shelter for birds of the air. Similarly, our faith, no matter how small it may seem, has the potential to grow into something remarkable, impacting not only our lives but the lives of those around us. So, as we come together today, let us meditate on the transformative power of faith. It's more than mere belief. It's a steadfast trust in the promises of God. Think of Abraham, who, against all odds, believed in God's promise of descendants as numerous as the stars. Genesis 15 verse 5. Despite his advanced age and the apparent impossibility of the situation, his unwavering faith was accounted to him as righteousness. Consider the story of David and Goliath, 1 Samuel 17, where a young shepherd boy, armed with nothing but a slingshot and his faith in God, defeated a giant who had struck fear into the hearts of an entire army. It was David's unshakable belief in God's protection and deliverance that enabled him to face seemingly insurmountable odds with courage and confidence. In our own lives, we may encounter mountains, obstacles that appear insurmountable, challenges that seem overwhelming. But let us remember the words of Jesus. With faith, nothing is impossible. Like the Apostle Paul, who declared, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4 verse 13. Let us approach each day with the assurance that God is with us, empowering us to overcome every obstacle in our path. As we go forth from this gathering, May we carry with us a renewed sense of faith, knowing that even the smallest seed has the potential to move mountains. With God's guidance and our unwavering trust in His promises, there is nothing that we cannot achieve. The passage from Philippians offers us a profound reassurance in the face of life's uncertainties. It urges us not to succumb to anxiety, but to turn to prayer and supplication. Accompanied by thanksgiving, as we lay our concerns before God. In return, we are promised a peace that surpasses human understanding, guarding our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. What a remarkable promise indeed, a divine tranquility that shields us amidst life's storms. Recalling the tale of David and Goliath provides us with a tangible example of faith in action. Confronted with an imposing adversary, David didn't rely on conventional weaponry or his own prowess. Instead, he anchored his trust in the Almighty, boldly proclaiming, the battle is the Lord's. In doing so, David exemplified a profound reliance on divine strength rather than his own frailty. As we journey through our own battles, both big and small, let us emulate David's unwavering faith. Just as he faced the giant with a humble sling and unwavering trust, so too can we confront our challenges with courage born of faith. Our strength lies not in our own abilities, but in our connection to the Almighty. Therefore, let us heed the words of Philippians and the example of David. In moments of fear and uncertainty, may we turn to prayer, 
offering our worries and burdens to the one who holds all things in his hands. And in that surrender, may we find the peace that eludes human comprehension, a peace that fortifies our hearts and minds, enabling us to face whatever trials may come our way. So, as we embark on this day, let us carry with us the assurance of God's peace and the inspiration of David's faith. With each step, may we walk in the confidence that the battles we face are ultimately the Lord's, and in His strength we shall overcome. Indeed, as we encounter daunting circumstances, we find solace in serving a God whose very nature defies the impossible. The timeless truth echoed in Hebrews 13 verse 8 reassures us that He remains unchanged throughout the ages, steadfast in His character, unwavering in His promises. What a source of strength and comfort this truth provides. Consider the accounts of the patriarchs and prophets, the disciples and apostles, all who witnessed the miraculous hand of God at work in their lives. From the parting of the Red Sea to the resurrection of Christ, the pages of Scripture are replete with instances where God's power transcended human limitations. Let us remember the faith of Abraham, who against all odds believed in the promise of a son in his old age, Genesis 17 verses 17 to 19, or the courage of Esther, who risked her life to save her people, Esther 4 verse 16. Reflect on the perseverance of Job, who endured unimaginable suffering yet remained steadfast in his faith, Job 13 verse 15, and the steadfastness of Paul, who faced countless trials for the sake of the gospel, 2 Corinthians 11 verses 23 to 28. Drawing from their examples, let us approach this day with boldness and confidence. For just as God proved himself faithful to his servants of old, so too will he prove himself faithful to us. With his presence as our guide and his promises as our anchor, there is no obstacle too great, no challenge too insurmountable. Therefore, let us march forward in the assurance of his unfailing love and the certainty of his power. Whatever challenges may arise, let us face them with unwavering faith, knowing that with God on our side, victory is assured. So let us seize this day with boldness, for in Him, we find strength, in Him, we find courage, and in Him, we find the assurance that nothing is impossible. Heavenly Father, we humbly come before you on this new day, overflowing with gratitude for the gift of life you have bestowed upon us. With hearts brimming with faith, we acknowledge your sovereignty over all things. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the one who holds the universe in your hands. Father, strengthen our faith today. In moments of doubt and uncertainty, remind us of your unfailing promises. Help us to trust in your divine plan, knowing that you work all things together for the good of those who love you. Grant us the courage to confront the challenges that may arise, knowing that you are our ever-present help in times of trouble. With you by our side, we need not fear the trials that lie ahead. For you are the God who calms the stormy seas and guides us safely through the tempest. Fill us, O Lord, with your peace a peace that surpasses all understanding. Let it envelop our hearts and minds, guarding us against anxiety and fear. May this peace sustain us through every trial and tribulation, anchoring us firmly in your love. May your will be done in our lives today and always, Lord. Guide our steps, direct our paths, and lead us in the way everlasting. May we walk in obedience to your word, bringing glory and honor to your name in all that we do. As we venture forth into this day, may your presence go before us like a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. Guide us, protect us, and grant us your wisdom to navigate the challenges and opportunities that come our way. And now, as we set out on this journey, we do so with the assurance that with faith in you, all things are possible. May your presence be our constant companion, filling us with hope, joy, and anticipation for the blessings you have in store. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.
As we embark on this day, let us carry with us the certainty that with God, all things are possible. May His presence lead us, His wisdom guide us, and His love sustain us through every moment. Have a blessed and fruitful day, dear friends. Amen. Mark 11 verse 24 says, Therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you will have them. Join me as we go to the Lord in prayer. Open your heart and believe so that the blessings of this prayer will come to you. Say this prayer with faith. Dear Heavenly Father, We humbly come before you today. You are the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You, the Lord, you created the earth and the heavens, and all that is in them. I give you all the praise and glory. Thank you God for everything you have done in my life. I'm grateful for the good things and even the tough times. You've been with me through it all, and for that, I say thank you from the bottom of my heart. God of mercy and compassion, please look with pity on me. I know I have sinned against you. I ask for your forgiveness. Father, Lord, have mercy on my mistakes and failures. Every mistake I have done in word, action, and deeds, Father, forgive me. For your word clearly says in 1 John 1 verse 9, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Thank you Lord Jesus for forgiving me. Now in the name of Jesus I declare the power of God against any work of the enemy. Every secret agenda the devil and his cohorts have plotted against me be destroyed in Jesus' mighty name. Father, your word said Christ was manifested that the works of the enemy might be destroyed. Every work of the enemy against my marriage, my job, my business, my career, my family, and children, be destroyed in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' name, I declare fruitfulness in every area of my life. Let the power of Christ touch my life so I bear fruit. I am fruitful in my life, in my ministry, in my marriage, in my business, in my career, in my job, and in my finances, for the Lord gives us power to make wealth. Let prosperity be my portion in Jesus' name. I will not lack but have an abundance. Lord, I want to serve you with all my heart. Anything that hinders my service, Father, deliver me. God, save me from myself, save me from people who will not lead me to you, save me from desires which are not godly, things which are not in line with your word. Father, help me obey your word. Sometimes the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Lord, Make me strong, make me fervent in you. Restore unto me, Lord, the joy of my salvation. Father, restore all the things I have lost, either by my ignorance or carelessness. You said in your word that the years the locust has eaten in our lives, you will restore us. Thank you, Lord, for restoring me, my family, my marriage, my career, and my ministry. Father, you sent forth your word to heal our diseases and sicknesses. I declare your healing from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. Father, heal my family, friends, and loved ones. Let your healing be their portion too. I boldly declare that I am a child of God. I walk in victory through faith. I am the head and never the tail. I am what God says I am in Jesus' mighty name. I boldly declare Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He mocketh me to lie down in green pastures, he letteth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul, he letteth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff they comfort me. 
Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Thank you, my Father God, for hearing my prayer and answering my prayer. Amen. As this message has blessed you, type the word Amen in the comment section and share with us your testimony too in the comment section. In the name of Jesus Christ, all these blessings have come upon you now. Beloved, help us spread the gospel of Christ and reach more people all over the world by liking this video and sharing this message with your family, friends, and loved ones. We really appreciate your great support. We plead with you to subscribe so you can receive more videos that will revive your spirit and uplift your life. Christ came that all people will be saved. If you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, this is the right time to do so. Say this after me. Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and because of me, you came to die on the cross of Calvary. Father, forgive me of all my sins. Today, I boldly declare that you are my Lord and personal Savior. Come into my heart and lead me. As you have said this prayer, congratulations you have been born again. Please look for a pastor in a Bible-believing church and tell him you have given your life Christ. You will need to fellowship with other believers to learn about your new life. Prayer is a very powerful tool God has given us. With prayer our problems receive solution and we get comforted by God. Please leave your prayer request in the comment section. We are constantly interceding on your behalf before God. Trust me friends, our God will answer your every prayer request. Sometimes we may not reply to your prayer request in the comment section, but that does not mean we are not praying for you. We have you at heart in your requests. May the grace of our Jesus Christ and the love of God be with you now and forevermore. Amen.